We waved goodbye yesterday to the 22 teams of the first ever Buffalo Run Adventure Challenge. Well, tonight, just over 24 hours later, the first few teams have returned from the Grand Canyon. Amazing. Yes. KDAB's Noah McKinney is live in Buffalo Gap now, where the victors are being welcomed home. Noah? Thank you, Bob and Joni. I'm out here with Jeff Dreslin of the Buffalo Gap Chamber of Commerce and Loda Zoth from Camp Abel. Now, we just had the Buckethead's car pull in, but y'all were here whenever the winners came. So can you tell me about who the winners were? What was it like when they got here? It was great. Team Heck Yeah showed up at about 8.20 this evening, and uh, uh, three guys been in that gold pickup for uh, 1,800 miles uh, since last night at about 6 o'clock. Yeah, and I understand they had a, uh, a, an announcement to make when they got here, right? What was that about? They did. Um, so the, the agreement of the, uh, of the rally, of the run, was that there would be a winner-take-all cash pot, $100 per team, so $2,200 total to the winner. And the winners have donated that to Camp Abel. And on top of that, we've had four businesses in Abilene that have come together to match that donation. So another $4,400 for Camp Abel. That's just incredibly awesome. Wow, no, that's, that's amazing. You were saying, yeah? We actually have some racers rolling in right now, so they'll be rolling in behind us here in just a little bit. Oh, here come a couple more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's play six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, With eight, their nine. Flashers Put their on. flashers on and their horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah most definitely. Pretty, pretty, Sorry it gets a little loud out here. We apologize. Pretty fun scene, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Which, do you know which cars these are? That's that's bad decisions. Bad decisions. Skid, skid marks. Mark. Skid marks. <laughs> racer. Yeah. Uh, and you were you were saying that tomorrow we're going to be having a celebration out here with a few more of the cars, right? We are. We're going to hopefully have all the cars out here tomorrow from uh, 12 to 9. We're going to have everybody out here. We're going to have a good old-fashioned street dance with seven local artists, big country artists playing. Mm -hmm. They've donated their time, and uh, we want we want to invite everybody out. We'll have some awards and thank everybody for their time. And but the the chamber of commerce out here uh, is going to put on a street dance for everybody. So. We want everybody to come out. Yeah. And, I mean, for both of you, I'd say, you know, this has just been an overwhelmingly positive experience. That's Most what I keep hearing yeah. time and time again. So uh, can you kind of put that into words? What's it been like to do this? I mean, watching a community come together. It's, it's been amazing. It's the most amazing thing. You know, from a uh, community perspective, of a community member here, I just love having people out here doing this. Everyone has a smile on their face. Nobody can talk about this without giggling. I mean, your newscasters are very much like that. You're like that. So it's hard to talk about this most without certainly. giggling. Um, and it just brings wonderful... Uh, goodness to Camp Abel, and we are so grateful on behalf of all of our children, all of our uh, horses. We, th we are just so grateful. All right, well, we'll see you all out here tomorrow at 12, and here's hoping for a good time next year. Reporting live in Buffalo Gap, Noah McKinney, back to you. <laughs> so, and you have been giggling since you can't yesterday. Help but on laugh. This. Yes. I, I'm a little envious. I wanted to be in one of those cars. I was like, come on, team, <laughs> team next star, King Kate, Kate Tab. All right, maybe next year. Maybe. Thank you, Noah. Congratulations, though, to the winning team. Between the awe and the beauty of the Grand Canyon, all the unforgettable experiences of performing the roadkill ceremonies, I'm sure that they are all ready for a few days' rest. And to the organizer of this event, Cody Cox, who is still somewhere in eastern New Mexico, <laughs> we wish you the best in getting home. So not everybody's in <laughs> not Buffalo Gap tonight. Not yet. Not right. All right.